leave home without a schedule. Oh my gosh. So I, I tend to draw. Yeah, that's so nice. People. Wherever I'm sitting. These are the people. Do you do this really fast? Yeah, these are the people in my neighborhood, actually. And then I study. There's Pete. And I do like whatever life drawing classes that we have. Like mm. I do, and I draw the people I work with. So, do you have advice for young artists? Um, I always tell people to always carry a notebook and document what interests them. Uh -huh. You can never know when inspiration goes. Just come. don't know because you're just wherever you are. But don't try not to. It's a specific skip. thing. Specific thing you're looking for, I mean, right daily right. life, or something that yeah. ordinary, it seems ordinary. Okay. Yes. These are just people I see in the cafes uh -huh. and study the human figure as often as you can. Mm -hmm. You know, when our students go away on a you know, trip or that independent study, I tell them to do a drill like this every mm -hmm. day. You gotta draw and explain what you're, you know, what you saw. Mm -hmm. you know, this great but this is like great as an everyday practice. Yes, you just don't let up. And make sure you put a date. You'll forget when you did it. Right. And when you look at your sketchbooks from years back, can you remember exactly where you were? That's you the pretty great good? thing about a uh, yeah. journal. Yeah. It's not like a photograph. A photograph is great. Right. But when you're writing things down, Somehow it captures a lot of the nuances. Yeah. Sides, you feel, you feel sounds, for it, huh? Yes. You still, sometimes I've actually looked back at a, uh, at a journal and, and I'm reading remember. it, and I'm wondering, I don't remember that at all. <laughs> when did that happen? Obviously it happened. But, but if I didn't write it down.